What happens when something considered impossible shapes itself into reality? History is filled with examples that present us with this phenomenon. Many times, events have occurred that have awed people completely. Turning something from fiction to facts is a long and tedious journey filled with disbelief and criticism. However, innovation always moves forward from the first computer to the first electric car. This can be attributed to nothing but science. Science has allowed man to travel all the way to space, then the moon, and now very possibly Mars. The concept of technology moving forward has always happened as can be seen from fuel-efficient hybrid cars. Similarly, in a world where humans desperately need to shift from oil-consuming ways of producing power to more efficient renewable energy sources, such as solar, wind, water, etc. So, stay tuned and watch the full video to learn about this amazing invention, which will soon become a magical reality. The most recent magic into reality case is the plan of using the sun's radiation from outer space. As crazy as it sounds, this project is soon about to turn into reality. Collecting sunlight from outer space sounds daunting and extremely tough to manage. However, the space-based solar power project has been finding innovations to work this situation. The SSPP has existed since the 1970s, although many presented designs have been considered economically or technologically unviable. But now, things are changing. Alongside the research team at California Institute of Technology, more commonly known as Caltech, have been working on a constellation of modular spacecraft that gather sunlight, converts it into electricity, and then wirelessly transmits that electricity to any location that needs it. You may be wondering why we need such an extravagant sounding game plan when we have several other renewable sources. However, there are several advantages to this extraordinary innovation. As you already must be aware, solar power is the concept of converting energy attained from the sun into other forms of energy. In layperson's terms, space-based solar power is the idea of harvesting solar energy from the sun using solar power satellites in space and transferring it to Earth. Its benefits include the potential for almost no darkness, a higher collection of energy due to the lack of reflection and absorption by the atmosphere, and a better ability to orient toward the sun. Due to the presence of such technology in space, human factors such as theft or destruction can also be negated. Moving on, harvesting energy from the sun can be slightly hard to imagine. However, satellites have existed since the late 50s. These satellites, or more engineered satellites, can be employed to have solar panels attached to them. As mentioned earlier, converting sunlight or rays into different forms of energy can also be converted into microwaves. Time for some classic physics revision. In the electromagnetic spectrum, microwaves can be transmitted to receivers on the Earth's surface. This phenomenon is appealing because this plan can help solve the climatic disaster. A major contributor to these human factors is the burning of fossil fuels. Since solar energy is a clean renewable energy, dependency on non-renewable sources will be heavily reduced. Power might be swiftly and efficiently redirected to the places that require it the most. Based on global baseload or peak power requirements, a collecting satellite might be able to direct power on demand to various surface sites. It can also largely contribute to safeguarding plant and animal life and can help in preventing fossil fuel depletion. Extraordinary and unprecedented are the words that Harry Atwater, an SSPP researcher, used. Harry Atwater, alongside other team members of SSP and Caltech, is developing newer technologies for this to turn into an actuality. Photovoltaics, which are basically the heart of a solar panel, are the materials that convert solar energy or light into electricity. The joint research team is developing ultralight high-efficiency photovoltaics that is compatible with an integrated modular power conversion and transmission system and tailored for space conditions. However, alongside these significant developments is the problem of cost or economic viability. The expense of space missions and the quantity of material that would need to be launched are two issues with the solar panels in space concept. The research team led by Ali Hajimiri, a professor of electrical engineering at Caltech, is creating inexpensive, portable technology required to transform direct current electricity into radio frequency power, which is used to transmit signals. This power will then be sent to Earth as microwaves. Moreover, as we already know the need for cheaper and inexpensive technology, the safety factor remains. How safe this is can be slightly hard to explain and harder to grasp. Thankfully, we have scientists like Hajimiri. 
According to Hajimiri, in the case of malfunctioning or if damage is done to the equipment, it will be immediately shut down and cease to process, thus saving further equipment from collateral damage. He has also stated that surface non-ionizing radiation is considerably less dangerous than exposure to sunlight. Additionally, the microwave beam will be designed to not harm wildlife, especially birds. Now remains another question. How this technology is going to be developed using photovoltaic cells outside of the Earth is probably more complicated than the regular solar panels. Another group led by the Chartered Structural Engineer at Caltech is working to address this. The research group is finding new and innovative methods to complete this monstrous task. The research team of Pellegrino is developing foldable, ultra-thin, and ultra-light space structures to house photovoltaics, as well as the parts required to transform, transmit, and direct radio frequency power. Let's move on from the scientific part to what the structure will look like once launched. So far, since this has not turned into a reality, we have the proposed intention of the research at SSP and Caltech. The scientists have come up with a weightless, less than a hundredth of a gram, and super light structure. The main design would consist of a 4x4 inch tile coupled with thousands, if not hundreds, of other tiles to create a giant flying solar panel that can measure up to an estimated 5.6 square kilometers of area. The giant jeans flying carpet is likely geostationary in accordance with the Earth's orbit. This is done because a significant benefit of placing a space power station in a geostationary orbit is that the antenna geometry remains consistent, making it easier to maintain antenna alignment. Naturally, with such an aspiring project, you guys must be curious about the progress on this. Currently, several prototypes have been developed. The prototype tile is the main element when it comes to absorbing the sun rays and using them to transmit power to the Earth. Further prototypes have resulted in increased efficiency of the model. However, like all prototypes or models, not everything is to scale. A lot of further calculations and sophisticated technology must be adopted in order to complete this mammoth task. After being deployed, the building enlarges and the tiles begin to generate, transform, and transmit energy to the precise location you require and nowhere else. Moreover, a lot of steps have yet to be undertaken, as only prototypes are not enough for full-scale deployment. If the work of all the researchers comes into orbit, the results will be truly magnificent. It can be rightfully considered as something out of a sci-fi movie, and truly magical. The very thought of giant flying solar panels orbiting the Earth and providing clean and green energy can address a multitude of problems we are facing right now. However, everything has its pros and cons, and very likely this technological development will have its cons, such as inaccessibility. A solar panel in space would normally be built and maintained telerobotically, but the astronauts on deck would face great difficulty and can be exposed to extremely harmful radiations. Space environment is also not a walk in the garden, with the major factor being space debris. Energy losses and waste heat are some of the other disadvantages this innovation can incur. The most spectacular and exciting ideas naturally come to mind, but this is merely our bias coming to light. In this scenario, the key to conducting outstanding research is being able to discriminate between the indicators of many conceivable processes. According to Hajimiri, these panels are going to be extraordinarily quick since the energy is only being directed electrically, using a focusing array with no mechanical actions involved. The conversation about energy, which was previously thought to be limited to sustaining life on Earth, now encompasses space travel as well. This is all the time we had today, but there are a lot more things we need to tell you people. So if you want to be updated on all of our upcoming videos, why don't you guys subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon. Oh, and before we go, make sure to respond and comment on questions in the section below.